Hello, Troublemakers. Welcome back to another Movie Commentary Monday. It's another Monday. Let's celebrate by watching the movie together. This week's movie is Bridgerton. I know some of you out there, it's your favorite movie. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know I don't know a ton about this. I was originally gonna do The Hunger Games. Uh, I covered that on, um, on Ooga Booga. We do a, tr a series where we watch movie trailers. And that looked interesting enough. I was gonna check that out. But I, it's, it's about vibes sometimes, you know? And the vibe today was just telling me it's a Bridgerton day. Uh, oh, I also, I will say, this is first and last. So we watched the first episode and the last episode and nothing in between like i said it's all it's all vibes and i know you guys trust me to, to pick out the uh the proper movies to and shows to cover i don't know on this if you guys are vibing with this but uh <laughs> fingers crossed baby even if you're not if you're just like hey i'll go until he delivers a bad joke don't worry you're gonna get to this whole video no bad jokes Maybe one. It's so bright and colorful. Oh my god, this is gonna be a bright and colorful love story, isn't it? Grosvenor Square, 1813. The upcoming social season. Hoisted upon the marriage market like sorrowful sows. Tighter! Is she to breathe, Mama? They had to have done some studies about corsets. It's kinda like crush your ribs, right? Like you gotta have brittle ribs as a woman, which is like prolonged corset usage. Just like one, one little flick. <laughs> And it just like shatters. Viscountess Bridgerton. Bridgerton. Everyone says that. Well, I don't like these guys. Too much sideburn. Where is he, Benedict? I do not know. <gasps> oh! Sheath your sword, sir! We have a party to go to. Oh, to up against a tree. Just full cheeks out. Awful. Awful thing. Anthony, you're here. Of course I'm here, sister. I don't like that. She's touching him. They're siblings? I feel like it, after you have smoosh with somebody, you need like an hour and a shower before you should be touched by your family members. I got some questions about this family. They're a little too close. You know what I mean. For today is the day London's marriage-minded misses are presented. It is only the queen's eye that matters today. Limmer of displeasure. That's her ribs. That's her ribs giving out on her. Okay, so these women are being presented before the queen, who then passes judgment. Are you being chosen? You're being selected for... Flawless, my dear. Oh, good. Good, good for you? I can't look at you. I've seen your cheeks. The brighter a lady shines, the faster she may burn. Oh, she gonna combust? Guns. Oh! There could be a duel in this. My success on the marriage mod influences all of your prospects. On the ma- Ah, oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I think I found the plot. And now 200 young ladies have a common adversary. So because the queen complimented her, now she's the target for everyone else. My love is pure as what my mom and papa once shared. If we are so fortunate. I really hope- I bet mom and papa, I bet their love story is rough and tumbly. Look at that face. That's a face of somebody who's like, ugh, you don't know the truth. Lady Whistledown. The author. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I have this correct? There's a gossip newspaper that goes out? Is this Gossip Girl in 1813? Is that what I'm watching right now? Like, Lady Whistledown, who was doing the opening narration, was like, oh, you'll never know who I am. Lady Whistledown. You do not know me, and rest assured, you never shall. She's Gossip Girl. Okay, I feel like I've, I can properly frame the show now. I know what it is. It's Gossip Girl, 200 years ago. Okay, I'm good. And Penelope, put down that book at once. You shall confuse your thoughts. Oh, she's gonna be a fan favorite. Girl who's just trying to read, they will not make her a bad person in the slightest. Unless you shall like to have only three young ladies under your care. She's got, she's got a willowy sweet voice too. Oh, I should gladly sit this season out. Oh, she doesn't even want to participate in this patriarchal patronage. This shall be her very first season. Oh, there's seasons. So if you don't get picked for one of the seasons, oh, if you're stuck on the market for a while, ugh. She came of age on a farm, and as for her appearance, well. Let us hope Miss Thompson is more presentable than the legions of unkempt animals she has spent her entire life tending to back. Oh, she's gonna be beautiful. Let's see her. Oh, you're perfect for the marriage market, baby. <gasps> this guy. I think this guy's a big guy from the show. Is he a scoundrel? How, what's his personality? Your grace. Oh, he's a prince. Oh, hell yeah. My condolences for your father. Very kind of you. I was hoping he was gonna be a scoundrel, but I don't think he's going to be. Kind of me? You hated the man. Oh, he hated his father? That there is an eligible duke present at tonight's fete. Oh, he's a duke? Do you call Duke your grace? You may leave that to flask you carry at home. Most oh. undignified. Oh. This has got a little scoundrel to him? <laughs> oh, is she tree girl? Oh my god, he's got his eyes for a tree girl. At least... Someone may hear us. Uh, at least, I don't, see, I don't want him to be a scoundrel. I The sideburns are throwing me off too much. Because it's not just sideburns, like, it, 
it sideburns, but then it like goes into his cheekbone. And I, oh God, look at this. How you expect me to take either of these people seriously when I had to look at this, look at this still frame. And tell me you respect either one of these people. But I am happy he's loyal. I thought he was going to be a scoundrel and I didn't want him to be one. Like I said, too much sideburns. I like a good looking scoundrel. Uh, a big sideburny scoundrel. Not fun. You have me. I will always protect you. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe him. He's got too much sideburns to believe. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So we got a big first party. Tensions are going to be high because we have... Flawless. She's going to be courted by many a men. Lady Bridgerton, I haven't had the pleasure of seeing you at our club lately. She didn't have anything to do with the unpaid balance you left on our betting books when to last. Oh, did he just say you're poor? Oh, he just said you're poor and he's like, yeah, sorry, I'm out. <laughs> oh my God, he just got class shamed. See ya, bro. Poor bitch. I did not realize. Well, how could you have done? It is the very reason I'm here, sister. You know, he might not be a bad guy. He might actually end up being a good guy. He's looking out for her too much. He is of dubious. Is every man wearing a sideburn? The first man who doesn't have a sideburn, I hope she marries. Cause Jesus. Oh my, God. you're ridiculous with it. Is there a reason I've yet to see you on the dance floor? All in good time. Oh, does she have really embarrassing dance moves? <laughs> I hope, I, I just thought of the best plot. It's a period piece about a bunch of women who are desiring to get married and find their, their right partner, find love. And the queen like hand selects her. You're, she's like, you're the most beautiful. You're gonna get selected so fast. But when she gets on the dance floor, she's all like. And then all of the heat of her reputation just dies down and no one wants her. No one will let her. Cause she just like. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm lost, in the, I'm lost in my own plots here. Oh, here we go. I think I like him. He's got the full beard. If he turns out to be a little bit of a scoundrel, I'm gonna like him even more. Small glasses, tiny little things, are they not? Then the matter is settled. Oh. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be mean. Ever since I was a schoolboy and you were. Oh, but five? Oh, okay. I hope someone duels this guy and kills him. I'm sorry. Like, it, it's mostly your face, but also now you have a shit personality too. Like, a moment, please. Oh, she's gonna run away and Scoundrel Beardy's gonna catch up. Oh. Your name, sir. Am I honestly to believe you do not already know my name? If you desire an introduction, madam, I do believe a costume me to be the least civilized. Surely they will try anything. Oh, he's got an inflated ego. I love this guy. Yeah. Finally, a character I can relate to. Bust it. Bridget, sir. Come here, old friend. I heard news. They almost dapped up. Hey, we almost we almost crossed time periods. Like, hey, bro. And he was like, hey. And then they remember they're in the 1800s and they're like, oh, <laughs> fine. Finally, fine meeting you, sir. It's a fine evening this evening, yes? I do wonder which gentleman will be the very first to call. There's, there's, there's like a, a pattern or something to this game. So I think all of the suitors now, after they've gotten together, it's like opening night. Now the following day, they go to each other's houses to mingle. I'm a big fan of uh, the NFL draft. It's like this, it's a three day event where they like, they list out the prospects. Who's the best, who's the number one overall pick? Who's the best lineman? Who's the best corner? And then each team selects and it's like, I, I, I can't get enough of it. I've been a fan of it ever since I was a kid. This is basically like the NFL draft. And I am so down. I am so into this. I think right now she's the top prospect. <laughs> Uh-oh, no one's coming to scout her. Oh no. Am I the first gentleman to arrive? Whether Her Majesty might reconsider the high praise she once afforded Miss Bridgerton, Ooh. what the Queen despises more than anything, being wrong. Ah, oh, the top prospects falling. It was the dance moves. She got to the dance floor. Tough for her. A caller for Miss Bridgerton. The Lord Burbrook. Oh no, I saw, oh, not this guy. Oh, duel? Someone could kill him, yes? Oh my God, he's gonna say and do something creepy. And you know what's gonna happen? You know what? I think a little scoundrel's gonna walk up on through those doors. Yes, yes. Uh, maybe too early. Maybe too early, actually. Now I know. You and I were destined for each other. <laughs> what a masculine bite. <laughs> Lady Whistledown has all but declared me ineligible. Is he Gossip Girl? This is something I learned from Gossip Girl. It's the main guy. So it must be him. Lady Whistledown has written about you again, Your Grace. A most peculiar suitor for Miss Daphne Bridgerton has emerged. <sighs> Why? 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 Dole him! Stop coming! There's no way! Being single forever is a, is the clear choice here. If it's him and singleness and sadness and loneliness and maybe a cat or two, it's that. It's that. His face is... Uh, the screen is darkens so that I can read the text and I can still... Why is his face so shiny? 
Why is his face shiny? The screen darkened. Look it, I'm gonna make it brighter and his shiny cheeks are gonna get shinier. Oh my God. He looks like a pillow. Not just a pillow, but he looks like one of those pillows that your parents own but they had it for like their entire childhood and it's all yellowed now. He, he's a yellowed pillow. God! Just the two of us. Kill him. Lady Bridgerton, do join us. Oh, see now the queen's, the queen's pissed at her because the queen said you are the one. And then now the one can't get anything but a yellow pillow. So now the queen looks dumb for selecting her and everyone else is like, mm, no. Nah. I would like to welcome you both to my box this evening. If I had a nickel for every time a girl said that to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, guys, that was the bad joke. All right, that was the one. That was the one. All right, don't turn the video off now. That was the one bad joke. Forgive me. He's not what Whistledown writes. Oh, it's definitely. Lady Whistledown may writes what she sees. Perhaps we need to help her to see things a bit more clear. <laughs> There's no... I... Oh, my head's about to explode. Ah, oh, I thought I was watching Gossip Girl. Turns out I'm watching every mid-2000s rom-com. They're proposing that the two pretend to be a couple just for the convenience sake to get the this whistle down off their backs. Oh my god. I love this actually. It's like all, it's like all these tropes, but just, just like thrown in a period piece. That's awesome. Hell yeah, I'm all aboard this. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So we cut to farm girl. She's not even waking up. We're cutting to her just like already scrambling. And then she scrambles, sheets. Oh no, bro. And cut away. Either give us more context or blend that in more seamlessly. So it's like a longer moment. It's not just like, ah, 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 and then cut away. I don't know that she's even spoken in this episode yet. <laughs> like, you don't know anything about her besides the fact that she's being courted and she's from a farm. Who knows if Whistledown is even a she? Fair point. Because she's simply too good. Oh, what was that look that he just gave? The theory strengthens. I assure you, I'm anything but interested in you. Good, and I anything but interested in you. <laughs> okay, guys. You must stay for dessert. <laughs> Oh, he's not happy about it. I, okay, so we saw his cheeks at the very beginning of the episode. He was late for a meeting and was banging a, a girl against a tree. Gross, right? But he seemed like, oh, he's gonna be a good guy because he was a protective older brother. But now his overprotectiveness has actually hurt the draft stock of the number one overall prospect. So now he's a bad guy again, which is good. I want to root against him. Your father. Do not bring father into this. There's, there's a big secret about the father. The father is an a-hole. I picked that up. I picked that up early too. Hey, I hope I'm right. <laughs> I just realized how certainly I was speaking that I'm right. And I'm like, I'm gonna look so stupid, but I, I'm gonna, you know, it's nice you gotta run with your predictions. You'd like to speak of responsibility. Of duty? Pray tell, what should you know of it? If your father was still here, Daphne would already have been matched. Are you the man of this house? Damn, no retort at all? You had no retort to any of that? He got put in his place several times over and he can't even commit to his singer girlfriend. I cannot see you anymore. And also that chest hair is pretty gross. Sorry, too far? Allow me the hairs. I will, I will, I'll, I'll talk about the hairs. I will not talk negatively about people's appearances except yellow pillow guy, but allow me the hairs and Jesus Christ shave that. I do not understand. I don't know what he just said. I was talking about his hair and I, <laughs> I kind of tuned him out. I cannot see you anymore. Oh god. I think they just banged too. Is it good to like to do that before and then you know then you're not clouded like your judgment you don't have to you're not like you know one over quickly by a couple kisses on the neck you know. I do not understand. It is not for you to understand. You're just a woman. You said you would always protect me. Oh well he's a fucking liar. Surprise. Have you seen his chest here? Why would you trust a man like this? Colin I, I, I did not know you would be here. Oh, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Right, so these two, these two got a little uh, something going on, you know. But I think he's in the lead for Farm Girl. Resemblance is remarkable. You look just like him. Oh. Your father. <laughs> he gonna punch you in the face. He hates that. Lord Burbrook's barony is over two hundred years old. His lineage is legitimate. To speak strictly, there's nothing wrong with him. Who? Who are you talking about? You're to marry him. Nigel. I had to find your husband's sister. Nigel's yellow pillow. I will not. I didn't bother remembering his name. Should I have? They're, they all have hoity-toity names. I can't. I can't be bothered. You haven't bled. It's been over a month since your arrival. Uh, she is... Gregor? Oh, no. She... 
I almost said she came from a farm, but I don't want you to get the wrong impression of what I was saying there. Some boy on the farm. This isn't that kind of smutty story. But I, I think it's the father. I, who, is that too dark for this show? This woman's husband has been giving her looks and it feels like that plot has to go somewhere. But then again, I don't know how much time has passed since she's been here. You shall never understand. Did you think I wanted to come here? So out of touch, so superior. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She was in the middle of her line and still had a. Ah! I need to hear that again. You, so out of touch, so superior. <laughs> Whatever are you doing? Oh my god. Nigel, not now. That is. Nigel? Nigel is Yellow Pillow. We to drop the honorific so soon. Oh my god. What was this? What was this? The self ending rate of women around this time period? Because I. Like, she would be a statistic. For sure, if this went through. That's that's the better option. Look at his cheek shining. What do you do to your skin? It's not pleasant to look at. You will never be my husband. Do you think yourself better than me? Oh, <laughs> I couldn't even pause it in time to get the prediction. I, I thought White Knight was going to come through here. End of the first episode. This is what I thought was going to happen at the house earlier. Where he's going to come in and save her. But it's going to be here instead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Oh. <sighs> I know what this lady Whistledown has written. Trust I possess as much contempt for the author as you do. Perhaps there is an answer. <laughs> Here we go. Here to we go. collective Lady Whistledown issue. <laughs> you. you know what's crazy is not only did the moms concoct this plot, this 2016 Netflix plot of let's pretend we're dating. <laughs> He's coming up with the idea on his own. We could pretend to form an attachment. <laughs> looks like an elf. I- Okay, that's not about his hair. Am I bullying too much in this episode? I- Some of- These people are just really upsetting me. And maybe I'm getting too invested where now I feel like I need to insult to like vent my frustrations on these people. I wanna- I wanna chill in the final episode here. That's not a bad thing always. Hey, elves are seen as like sexy depending on who you ask. Don't look at my secret folders on my phone. So technically not an insult. All right, now these two, they have a strict pact. They're not gonna get feelings for each other. It is strictly their mutual benefit. And I suspect by the final episode, they will say to each other, our mission is accomplished. We have not harbored any feelings for each other. Not once during this little fake engagement, fake, fake dating. They will split up at the end of the last episode and go about their lives, single. Is that how this romance story is gonna go? I. Maybe? How the young miss secured her newfound suitor is yet to be determined. I wonder if Gossip Girl is going to out them as a fake couple. I kind of feel like, yeah. Oh, camera cut out. Uh, can you guys hear me? Am I audible? This video is sponsored by Audible, the world's leading provider of audio entertainment. One thing I've been getting into recently, mysteries. There's a different energy with a mystery afoot. I recently started Stranger in the Woods, which is about a woman who takes a job as a photographer working in the Scottish Highlands. But it turns out that the couple that hired her had a daughter go missing two years ago, abducted and ended. And now she's like, hey, I'm here to you guys got a job for me? The narrator is like so freaking good. Some people just have voices that you just want to sit down and listen and not interrupt ever because it's so amazing. This woman has one of those voices. Listen to this. When he yanked the scarf down from his face, a loud gasp sucked from her lungs. She knew him. Of course she did. New members get to try for free. Head to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Or also you could text Dylan is in trouble to 500, 500. And the best part about using that link, you get a free credit to spend on any audiobook of your choosing. Gone Girl, Hunger Games, Red Rising, the my favorite series. Like literally just go out and pick anything that you want. It's free. I love being sponsored by Audible. You guys, you guys know this about me. <laughs> I've been sponsored by them a bunch in the past. I want to continue working with them in the future. Use my link audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Try it out for yourself. Thank you to you guys for using that link. Thank you to Audible for sponsoring. Let's head back to Bridgerton. After the rain, I don't want, I don't want to read anything. I, I want to go in completely blind. Oh my God. All right. We're sitting down for this one. Now we're 20 minutes. I was hoping it was gonna be 45, but all right. Oh, is, is there any other predictions I wanna make? I think the the unwanted reader girl is gonna be with the guy because the pregnancy of the girl and the father. So he had to shift gears, the brother of Bridgerton, and he is now dating reader girl. I think the elf and the singer are gonna, are gonna be still broken up, but they'll get back together before the end of this episode. And I think that uh, the the split between um, the main characters, they'll, they'll have been split up by this point, but they're gonna get back together in this episode as well. Truth of a marriage hiding behind closed doors. Wow. 
Why is she upset at him? Is it because he impregnated the farm girl? Beware indeed, blushing newlyweds, or indignity. I bet she lost the baby. That's drama. And then she would be able to continue to be... Because ha her having a kid, she, it would knock her out of this this marriage and dating ring, right? And there wouldn't be as much as many places to go. So I think she probably lost the baby. Big drama there. And then that woman who was upset at her husband, she found out that her husband was the one who uh, rolled around in the barn with her, you know? You are permitted to smile, your graces. Your graces. Was she your grace before? Might you both move a bit closer? As well? Uh, yeah, there's some coldness to there. Now that we know, I'm not with child. Okay. Wait, there was a pregnancy scare for her? Are they married? This time next week, our ruse will be well and truly over. But perhaps His Grace might place his hand on the Duchess's shoulder. <laughs> oh, get, the get out. Get out. His touch brings back memories of better times. She'll look up into his eyes, he'll look into hers, and then they'll quickly look away. Is there something there still? Maybe. No. We must deny it. It's too much. Look away. Ah. Provided you stay clear of my lucky mallet, I think it's a fine idea. Oh, I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I don't think that guy, I don't think the elf is going to be with the singer. I think the singer moved on. Yeah, the singer moved on. I'm already feeling much improved. That tea has accomplished what I needed it to. I can finally go home. Ah, back to the farm! So that means you're no longer with child. I would have felt something by now, I'm certain. Oh, she took a tea? Oh, so she intentionally did away with the little guy or girl. Guess we'll never know. <laughs> oh, that's dark, huh? Oh. Are you quite well? <gasps> Is this the guy? Is it not the husband? Who? Did the thing to her? Uh, I got a bad feeling. I have come bearing grim news today. Oh, we have a death! My brother George died on the battlefield. Oh, yeah, baby! I'm sorry, this is, this is deeply impactful to you, but um, I don't really know who you are. To me, you're just a farm girl. I didn't get the seven episodes or the six episodes in between to figure you out. Several weeks ago. And uh, Was the soldier, was the soldier boy her, uh, the father? Or would have been the father? If it wasn't for that nasty tea. <laughs> he was writing to me to tell me he loved me, to tell me we could run away together and marry and have our child. It's gonna be tough to do that now, huh? He loved me. All this time, he loved me. He had a perfectly reasonable explanation for not writing back to me. <laughs> he is dead? <laughs> Are you happy he's dead? Because he ghosted you and you were like, that asshole. And then you found out he died and she's like, oh. A sweetheart he didn't ghost me well he did he did ghost but he didn't ghost me and he turned into a ghost that's what happened lady whistledown might wish to examine what she writes about both i have no intention of compromising anyone so whoever whistledown is should be careful i believe whistledown is smart enough to take care of herself guys i don't i don't i don't know quite how to explain that scene because i i didn't understand any of it but i think whistledown might be this woman maybe or maybe not i don't i uh, I can't believe she's married. I think she's married. As your wife. You deserve more than that, indeed. Wife. Wife, he said. Wife. I can decide for myself. You be better off is... without me. Oh, God. Oh, I was hoping he was a scoundrel. But he's a self-pitying guy? Oh. With him being like, oh, no, I'm, you're, you're, I, I'm, I can't measure up for you. Your life will be so much better without me. That's not a terrible trope, but it's just like, it just feels so... Ew, I don't know why I like it here. Says the guy who's watched one episode in ten minutes. Okay. Don't tease me. If you're gonna do sports scenes in movies and shows, do them properly. If I see some really sanitized fight, I'm gonna be very disappointed. I want grit, I want blood. Win this fight. Perhaps I lose. Perhaps that purse will be enough to keep us happy. He's talking about throwing a fight. My money's on the beast. With Mondrich heavily favored. You can take the deed to my house. Should I use it, it's yours. Well, he's wagering his house on a fight? But the fighter's not gonna throw it, I bet. Oh, that's a singer. Oh, she's with somebody else. Sorry, elf boy. Not today. But it seems my business here is not quite finished. Marry you. Ah. Oh. <gasps> I do not understand. I don't either. Gross. After my brother clearly took liberties with your virtue. What? I do not know this man. I cannot marry this man. He would have wanted you to be supported. Allow me to realize my late brother's wishes. I believe you should now take your leave. I wish you all the best, Miss Thompson. Okay, so they have financial troubles. The father did not bang her. Oh, no. Oh, God. God, this is gonna be so bad. This is gonna be the worst fight scene of all time. Stop. 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 Okay, I guess continue.
Well, got that prediction wrong. How did you get it? I had an inside tip. The tea didn't work. You gonna pop this child out, huh? <laughs> I'd wager the both of you. I I didn't like them together at all in the first episode, but then I predicted that they wouldn't get back together, and now they're back together, so now I doubly hate them. I shall come with me tonight. There is no one that would dare say a thing. I want you there by my side. Oops. My finger slipped, guys. I accidentally fast-forwarded a little bit. Who's here? I didn't mean to grimace. Am I being mean again? I grimace pretty hard there. Someone special in here for me, I presume? Only the best for you, my lord. He's gonna get his ass beat. So this guy, he's he's kind of a douche, right? And I, to some degree, I was looking for the villain, right? There's gotta be someone to cheer against. And he was giving looks to the farm girl in the first episode. And that, it felt a little inappropriate, and that's where I, that's where I tied the, the pregnancy together. Either way, he needs money, right? And they're, they're going broke. And then he places a bet. He bets his entire house, his entire estate on one guy who's gonna throw the fight and then he splits the winning with the guy who threw the fight. And the guy who threw the fight seems to get away with it, but I, is it not obvious? If a guy is willing to bet his house on a, a huge underdog, I feel like those guys are gonna be, uh, are gonna be aware and I think they're gonna come beat the- Join us. Yeah, here, here. Okay, I was gonna say, he can't get away with it. <laughs> I imagine she must be coming close to unmasking the author's identity. We worked out a whistle down delivers her missus to a printer's press on Lombard Street. She'll be seized there tonight. Apologies. Give me a moment, my love, and I shall return upstairs. I'm back in. Tell me. Tell me. They're breaking up. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I thought about coming with you tonight. Envision myself in your arm, dancing the entire night away. But you look too much like an elf, and I do not like that. I tried. What I know is that you are lost, and I cannot allow you to set me adrift as well. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I don't have a handle on you two. Uh, you guys are just so hot and cold. You're toxic. I don't like you two. Do you need to let me go? Yes. God, I could have told you that first episode. And you did first episode. That gentleman upstairs, he sees me for who I am. The guy you've been cheating on? He does not wish for me to change. Does he wish for you to sleep with other guys? Because you've been with... That's way too sad to end the season on though, right? Is he going to duel the guy and kill him? Oh, he go kill somebody. Maybe an orc? Ooh, a little attitude to that toss, huh? Go, this is a trap! Do you think you're doing? I thought you were someone else. That was it? So, just to catch you up. She learned that uh, the dressmaker, she was Lady Whistledown, okay? She was Gossip Girl. The queen had set up a sting operation because they knew where Gossip Girl printed off her newspaper articles or whatever, her pamphlets of gossip. So she decided to rush to the, the printing press area where the sting operation was going to uh, commence. And she, well, you saw it. She was just like, go. And then the carriage left, which is incredibly non-dramatic. That could have been so much more interesting and so much better. That was so bad. The fight scene and this, the physical tension moments are so underplayed in this show. It's embarrassing. I miss dancing with your father. I suppose I miss everything about him, really. Oh, they were in love. The two of you loved each other so very much. Oh. Oh, they're gonna dance in the rain together? Is that gonna be their cute thing? They're rain dancers? Just because something is not perfect does not make it any less worthy of love. The parts that you believe are, are too dark and too shameful. Every flaw, okay. every imperfection. Okay. I love you. <laughs> you know the fun part about skipping six episodes? All the meat of the plot? I don't know anything about this man. <laughs> he's like, I love all the dark parts of you and all I know is he's got daddy issues. Choose. Differently, Simon. Simon. I was thinking I should probably know his name by now. I don't know her name. Veronica? That cannot be up to anyone else. There is news. What is the matter? What is your husband, Mom? Did he kill? Did he die? Did they kill him? Poison? You're saying he is dead. Hmm. Oh, they took the money? Why would they pay out and then take the money back? Oh, are we gonna get a bang scene? What about the elf? How does that end? Are we just, is that up? Is that done? Okay. Just the most boring camera work. Trail of the body, yep. 
Already? 25 seconds. Tops. I mean, at least it was good for him. <laughs> if there is to ever be a grander finish than the one provided by the Duke and Duchess of Hastings... Listen, I'm, I'm not saying that 25 seconds is like the worst thing in the world, right? Like sometimes you just, you know, it happens, right? But to call it a grand finishing, I think if there was gonna be grandeur, there would be more than one finishing. And I don't think that was possible here. But like I said, as a guy, been there, okay? But I don't want like a self-satisfied like, <sighs> yeah. You know, you haven't earned that. You gotta earn that. You gotta apologize, make up an excuse, something. Don't smile at her. Well, I'm sure with Whistledown still on the loose next season will be far more interesting. Gossip Girl still on the loose, huh? <laughs> I, listen, here's my thing. If you're gonna do a uh, fighter, undefeated fighter, or like uh, overwhelming favorite, throws a, a match, man bets his house. And even in the fight, there was so little violence to that. Like if you're gonna do those plots, those are like some dark underworld plots. Like those are seedy, violent, terrible people. Here's just the skimming of the surface and then every, you don't get to see anything else. Like why bring us there and then not show it? Oh, so she is gonna marry the brother now? You were with Madame Delacroix last night. Yes. They didn't show, okay, so Gossip Girl. Oh, I should have said it too. When we saw the cart, we didn't see the, the dressmaker. It was just a dark cart that quickly sped away. Perhaps I will come forward one day. You That's a woman. They were, those were very feminine lips. Yours truly. Oh, they're having a, okay. It's gonna be a son. Who wants to bet it's a boy? It's a boy. Congratulations, you have a son. A boy. <laughs> A 50% chance. <laughs> but I figured Simon had issues with his father and now Simon's going to be the father of a son, right? It makes sense thematically. I, get, I know why people like this show. It's like packed full of cliches, but like with the twists of being uh, 18, 13, like, that's fun. I wish they wouldn't, like if they're not gonna give proper weight to like some of the darker moments, then I wish they just wouldn't dabble in them. Very shocked that they ended up together. Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be back of course next Monday. So until then, love you guys and uh, toodles. <laughs>